Hello to all my Capricorn viewers and subscribers. Welcome to your mid-month December 2017 Love and Romance reading. This is a general reading, so take that into consideration. It may or may not resonate with you. Take into consideration your sun, moon, and rising signs, as well as your Venus. Okay. Michelle, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. But before we do, if you would like a private reading, click down in the description box below. Click on the link. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and click on the notification button so that you're notified when my readings are uploaded. If you would like to make a donation, click down in the description box as well. I appreciate any donations that are given as they do help to keep this channel functioning. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, Capricorn, from mid-December to the end of, end of December here. I already got some cards popping out a bit. seeing is that you are really in your emotions a lot more than what you typically would be Capricorn um, something has really got you feeling some type of way you have the sad embrace card as the first card that popped out here so you're really dealing with an emotional situation that may be taking place in your relationship where um, you really feeling sad and hurt or be betrayed betrayed it or just feeling really down and out you're really in your your head quite a bit um something is calling causing you to feel um just a really emotionally disrupted disturbed okay you're not at peace you may be trying to suppress your emotions but this may be a time where you can't okay you're really on edge right now Okay, the next card that you have is the Moonlight. So there may be some secrets or something that was recently revealed, something that came to light here with the Moonlight card. There may have been some sort of deception. Again, with the Moonlight card, this is about your emotions as well as your intuition. Okay, there may have been something that was on your mind that you had been thinking may have been going on or taking place or, you know... Uh, you may be, you know, dreaming, having lots of dreams lately. But with the Moonlight card, I do feel like there was something that was recently revealed. Okay, some sort of secret, some sort of deception, some something that um, came out into the open or that will soon be revealed. And you have the Rock Bottom card. So this is a card that's, um, this is like the card of chaos. But with the number 10, this is all about closure endings transformations so this could be an end of a relationship this could be um also you know an end for a new beginning but really going through a difficult time here feeling down and out there may be some some depression some sadness some anxiety um just emotional tension is what i'm feeling right now your relationship is not in a very good place right now Emotionally, you're not in a very good place, okay? Um, you do have the Golden Palace card. So I do feel like there's an opportunity for some sort of reconciliation or for you and your significant other to work on the foundation of your relationship towards the end of this month. Um, I'm also seeing here as well that um, there's there may be some financial abundance very soon for you with the Golden Palace. It's all about financial abundance. Um, and this is... This card to me is also about just working on self, okay? Working on the foundations of your relationships, your friendships, 
um, your, your businesses, your um, financial situations, as well as your relationships, if I didn't already say that, okay? But I do feel like at the end of the day towards, and you know, that says 23. So to me, maybe that's like the 23rd of December where there's going to be more fulfillment in certain areas of your life, whether that be financial situation or um, your relationship. I do see change right around that time, okay? All right, under the rock bottom, I see you in the mountain card. So in your relationship, uh, mid-month, the issues may have started up right around the 10th, um, but I do feel like the, the, the issues are going to continue to um, extend out and t out and until the 22nd and that's interesting because that's when the mercury retrograde actually ends is on the 22nd so for things to be coming you know falling back into place on the 23rd that's very interesting because it is showing that maybe um, all along there may have been some blockage in communication here or some issues within your relationship due to the mercury retrograde okay so yeah, these issues may have started in between the 6th and the 10th. Things may begin to make some sort of turnaround or change around the 23rd. All right, you do have the home card, um, making a choice and slow and steady. So I do feel like you're taking your time when it comes in, in, in regards to your relationship, making some sort of decision when it comes to um, the home environment. This could be your living arrangements where you live. Um, your circumstances, the foundation again of a relationship, a situation that may be taking um, place at home or just in in your in your um, your relationship. And with the home card showing up, I do feel like this is something that a relationship that you hold very dear to you and close to you, um, and that you may be keeping a lot of things that are taking place in your life secret and not telling anyone about what's going on. Um, I do feel also that there's a decision that needs to be made here, and this could be by you or your significant other, but I do feel like there is going to be uh, a decision that's made, but you're going to be slow to make that decision, or your significant other is going to be slow to make that decision, because there may be some changes that need to be made, especially with the mountain and the rock bottom card coming up here. I do feel like there's um, there's changes that need to be made and a foundation that needs to be built again so i do feel like if there's some reconciliation because i do feel like there's some reconciliation that's going to take place here i feel like first you're going to be slow to make a decision but when that decision is made it's going to be like you're all you're almost starting from ground up starting completely over it's like renovation you know and and this is like an effect with the it's the mercury retrograde will do that especially this one because it's very intense okay so let's go ahead and get some clarification for your cards. Um, get some clarification in regards to the Saturn, Greece, the Moonlight, um, Rock Bottom, the Golden Palace, and the Mountain Palace here. And um, the Making a Choice. Let's see what's going on here. So you may be feeling alone at this time. You, you're you really going within, needing some time to think about things before you make a decision. This may also, like I said before, be a time where you're feeling lonesome, okay? Or just needing your space away from others. Okay. Okay, so you're in your head a lot about what it is that you want to do because we have the inner voices on top of making a decision here. So you're in your head quite a bit about, you know, what what you're doing a lot of thinking about what am I going to do in regards to the situation? Which way am I going to go? Okay, you may be, it could be a three-party situation here where maybe you're dealing with someone or your significant other is dealing with someone else where they need to make a decision um, however, you're in your head quite a bit and you're, what I'm seeing is that you're, you're slow to move 
Um, you're, you're taking your time because you're in your head. You need to do a lot of thinking before you make a decision on what you want to do next. Um, the sad embrace may be due to um, someone that revealed some part of them that you were not quite seeing. Um, and it also, to me, represents that you may be trying to hide your emotions or cover, you know, hide your feelings, but you're having a very difficult time doing so. And I do feel like eventually the mask is going to come off and you're really going to um, show that emotional side here. Or this is going to be a time where you may even shed some tears or you may really actually um, express how you truly feel. But there's definitely some sort of emotional release that's going to take place here where you're um, releasing and you're expressing your feelings as well as your emotions, Capricorn. Um, with the Moonlight card, you have the, the Patience card here. So I, I, again, I feel like something is going to be slowly revealed here, okay? Something is revealing itself because you have the Moon card here. So I feel like something was either slowly revealed or something um, you found out about something, but it took some time for you to find out about um, what was revealed to you. And this could be in, this could be intuitively, okay? I do feel like someone is um, has some sort of telepathic communication with their significant other, or um, they're just Capricorn. You're extremely intuitive at this time, especially since this is your season. Okay, you may be able to tap into certain energies a lot easier than what you typically have been. All right, on top of the rock bottom card, there's the stress card. So whatever issues are manifesting right now in your relationship is really stressing you out. It's been a very burdening for you right now. Okay. This may be like the most rock bottom your relationship has been at this time right now. Okay. But being that it is towards the end of the year, this is a really good time to use this to your advantage. You know, burning some candles and really using this season to manifest um, by... You know, because this time, this 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 time of the year represents death. Okay, transitioning. So this is a time to bury what no longer serves you, whether that be the entire relationship or certain aspects of the relationship or yourself, um, and and putting some of these uh, certain habits, um, or certain behaviors are certain things that may be causing your relationship to hit rock bottom, uh, getting rid of, you know, bearing these things so that when, you know, we move into spring, that positivity will manifest, okay? You have the Golden Palace card. So like I said before, on top of the Golden Palace card, we have the Rebirth. Ooh. So I do feel like there's going to be some reconciliation that's going to take place here for you okay for some of you guys you guys are moving forward to better yourselves but I'm, I'm definitely seeing like reconciliation because um the golden palace is here and, and to me that is like building a new foundation and some sort of joy happiness and abundance is going to be coming in so um i'm not saying this for all of you guys because things are going to be different for different people this could be you know you just moving into a happier place in your life financially Okay, this could be you moving into a happier place um, or, or moving into, you know, a healing phase of your life. All right. Feeling renewed. And I guarantee that's going to happen on the 23rd for y'all. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get some spiritual advice from Spirit in regards to your cards. Capricorn. This is my favorite part right here. Because, you know, there's nothing better than spiritual guidance. I already got some cards popping out, Cap. All right, 
so the first card that you have here is love and dears so like i said before i feel like there's reconciliation the card says uh love does not give up or lose faith love is hopeful and withstands every situation okay and that's right on top of this card here the patience card so you just have to be patient all right give things time to blossom second card that we have is i love you okay it says that these are very important words not only to say it capricorn but to show it as well you know what i'm saying actions speak loudly louder than words okay the third card that we have is like attract like attracts like so that means that whatever it is that you give out you put out there is what you're going to receive in return okay law of attraction if you are longing for more love in your life you need to be more loving it's as simple as it is you want that love you want to be cherished you want it to be um to be acknowledged then you have to acknowledge your significant other you have to be loving to your significant other you have to be receptive to your significant other's needs in order for you to your your significant other to to, to send out that same energy it's like magnetism all right so that is your reading capricorn i hope that it can help you in some kind of way and if you guys would like a private or personal reading click down in the description box below sales for the month of december end on the 31st so take advantage of your discounts now if you get a reading, make sure that you put in holidays 2017 for a 5% discount on all readings. All right. Love and blessings. Ashe.